Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. This is a sample test paper with detailed analysis and important tips in preparation for this year's lower secondary checkpoint science paper 2. Let's get started. Question 1A. The diagram shows a flowering plant. Plants need to absorb water and transport it to all of their living parts. 1A1. Name the process that plants use to absorb water through the roots. So this question has to do with the process, okay? So the process by which plants absorb water through the roots is called osmosis. So osmosis is the natural movement of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane. And this is the process by which plants absorb water through the roots. The process once again is called osmosis. Question 1A2. Name the tissue that transports water to different parts of the plant. So the tissue that transports water to different parts of the plant is called xylem. It is also good to remind ourselves of the difference between the two plant tissues, which are the xylem and the phloem. All right, the phloem is the tissue in plants that transport manufactured food from leaves to other parts and also for storage while the xylem is the tissue that transports water to different parts of the plant. Question 1A3. Name the part of the plant that loses water by transpiration. Water is lost from the leaves of a plant through the stomata. It is good to also remember the other function of the stomata. The stomata in leaves is also the place where gaseous exchange takes place. Plants take in carbon dioxide for respiration. In return, the stomata in the leaves give out oxygen through respiration and water by transpiration. So water is lost from plants from the leaves of a plant through the stomata. Question 1B. Several factors affect the amount of water lost by transpiration. Chen uses this equipment to measure the rate of transpiration. Chen predicts that the temperature of the air affects the rate of transpiration. Now question B1. Which variable must Chen change to test its prediction? The question says which variable must Chen change? So what an experimenter must change during an investigation is the independent variable. Now go back to the investigation. You will notice that Chen predicts that temperature of the hair affects the rate of transpiration. Since the temperature affects the rate of transpiration, therefore, temperature of the air is what Chen must change. And this is also known as the independent variable. On the other hand, the rate of respiration which is affected by the temperature is the dependent variable and that is what will be measured. So the answer to our question is the temperature of the hair and that is what chain must change during the investigation. 1B2 State two variables that Chen needs to control in his investigation. Variables that are needed to be controlled in an investigation are called controlled variables. These are materials and conditions that must be kept the same during an experiment. For Chen's investigation on how temperature of the air affects the rate of transpiration, the controlled variables include one same shoot or same plant so the plant or the shoot of the plant must be the same number two same number of leaves or the surface area these are conditions that must be kept the same otherwise they must use the same species of plant the same humidity the same measurement and the same amount of light all these are controlled variables which must be kept the same during the investigation 
Question 1b3. Describe how chain measures the rate of transpiration. Okay, the rate of transpiration, that is the rate at which water is lost, can be measured just in two ways. Number one is by measuring the volume of water lost in a given time. That is the amount of water lost in a given time. Or number two, by measuring the time taken to lose a fixed volume of water. That has to do with the measuring of the time taken to lose a fixed volume of water. Question 1b4. Predict the effect of changing the temperature of the air on the rate of transpiration. So back to our experiment. Chen predicted that temperature of the air affects the rate of transpiration. But this question wants you to specify in terms of increase or decrease in temperature. Okay, so generally speaking, as temperature of the air increases, the rate of transpiration, which is the rate at which water is lost from the plant, is also increasing. So it's a directly proportional condition. As the temperature increases, the rate of transpiration, which also means the rate at which water is lost, increases. Question 2. Look at the diagram of a water molecule, H2O. Question 2a. State the type of bonding in a water molecule. Let's first look at the diagram and identify the electrons. The round shaded circles are electrons of oxygen, while the crosses with X are electrons of hydrogen, one cross for each hydrogen. Now, if you observe this chemical bonding between the hydrogens and oxygen, there are no transfer of electrons. They rather share their electrons. So the chemical bonding that involves the sharing of electrons is called covalent bonding so the kind of bonding exhibited in a water molecule is called covalent bonding which involves sharing of electrons question 2b an oxygen atom has the electronic structure 2 6 to which group of the periodic table does oxygen belong so by now, you should know that the number of electrons in the outermost shell of an element determine the group to which such an element belongs to. So when you are given an electronic structure just as this one that is 2 and 6, given in this question, the last number in the electronic structure is the number of electrons in the outermost shell and it also determines the group of the element. So, the group of this element in the periodic table is group 6. Okay, group 6. Because you have 6 as the last number in the electronic structure and it also represents the number of electrons in the outermost shell. So, this element belongs to group 6. Question 3. You reinvestigate some sound waves. Sound waves can interact to reinforce or cancel each other. Yuri looks at the waveforms the sound waves make on an oscilloscope. Complete the diagram to show what happens when each pair of waveforms interact. So in this question you are given two sound waves called waveform 1 and waveform 2. So you are given an empty box and there is something written under the empty box. It says waveform 1 plus waveform 2. This has to do with the interaction between waveform 1 and waveform 2. So the question also requires that you draw a wave that will represent the addition of waveform 1 and waveform 2. So because waveform 1 and waveform 2 are very similar, the combination will be a bigger version of either waveform 1 or waveform 2. So we have a wave like this. So the frequency will remain the same, but the amplitude should be as twice as either waveform 1 or waveform 2. 
So if you want more details about amplitude and frequency, you can visit the checkpoint playlist and watch the review video for checkpoint paper one. So there we give a detailed analysis about amplitude, about frequency and what causes loudness, what affects the pitch and more of that is captured in checkpoint paper one. So you can visit that for more details. But for this question, waveform 1 and waveform 2, because they are similar, they can combine together to form a larger version of a cell. Still on question 3, here is another two sound waves also named waveform 1 and waveform 2. An empty box is provided to draw the combination of waveform 1 and waveform 2. Two. So if you look at the waveform 1 and waveform 2 in this case, they are different and in opposite direction. So the combination of this kind of waves will cancel each other out to form straight line wave because they are equal and opposite. So because they are equal and more opposite, they will definitely cancel out each other to form a straight line. Thank you for watching, subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. Thank you.